Hey guys, it's Eric with the Hotbox Pizza Truck. I uh, just got done, as you can see here, rolling out uh, my one lonely leftover dough ball from yesterday. Almost sold out on Friday. I had one dough ball left. Here it is. Just took the roller, rolled it all out. If you guys have leftover dough, this is uh, something you can do is make some pepperoni rolls. And if you wanted to advertise them on your Facebook page, you know, if you got one, two, three, four, five, whatever you got left over for dough and you make, and could be an extra way to make a few bucks and use up that extra dough. But, uh, and you can do it, you know, while the oven's getting warm in the morning is really the best time because you don't need the full, the full heat of the oven to cook these things. And I, uh... My wife loves when I make these for uh, parties, to take them to a party or family get together, whatever. And I do, uh, I do pepperoni rolls. I'll do a sausage roll. With the sausage rolls, I like crumbled sausage better. Um, her favorite is I do the white pizza. I put spinach, garlic, ricotta, mozzarella, and uh, extra virgin olive oil, and I roll it up and. It's a huge hit. But if you're going to a party, you can cook four or five of these. Slice them all up real thin. You know, I like about that thick. And then um, put them on a baking sheet, heat them up real quick, the slices, and uh, serve it with some of your leftover pizza sauce and, and your everybody's favorite. And there's no science to this. Just get it rolled up. And these things are so good. All the all the pepperoni juice soaks into the bread. They're just it's nothing. There's nothing uh, healthy about it, but it is just absolutely delicious. I try to the dough's nice and sticky right now, so I'm gonna it's raining out, so our humidity's way up right now. Our moisture outside. So the dough's real nice and sticky today. Let's try to get all this together. A little bit of flour so it's not sticking. That's it. Closed up. And then right on the front of the oven there. And I'll just let that thing hang out there. It doesn't take long to get brown on one side. You really don't mess with it. If you go too far in, you'll burn the side of it right away. You don't want to do that. That's why you want to keep it out in the front like this. And that's actually pretty warm, so it won't take long there. But uh, leave it there until you can just give it a push and it releases itself. If you try to move it too soon, you'll tear a little hole in the bottom of it and then pepperoni grease everywhere no big deal so I'm gonna give this a few minutes and I'll uh, bring you guys back and show you what's up All right, guys been a few minutes it should yep and just be able to roll it over just like that and you're just trying to slow cook it you don't want to be in a rush because like I said it you'll burn the uh, the outside of it real quick there she goes and just let that ride out in a little bit, and then I'll show you where it's at. All right, guys. All right, guys, here she is. After a few minutes, when it gets nice, it starts getting nice and brown, I also put it on the uh, sheet so you can just spin it in the oven. makes it easy. But let's give it a try for testing R&D, research and development. We should go ahead and give her a try. So if you got some leftover dough, want to utilize it try to make a few extra bucks or be the hit at your next party nice little pepperoni roll that's about how thick I slice them then like I say you just lay a bunch of them out on a tray or whatever 
nice and greasy. Little ramekin here. Oh yeah. All day. So there you go. Some leftover dough, some pizza rolls, snack for your belly, be a hit at a party or make a few extra bucks. Appreciate you guys watching. A little something different for you. You guys have a great weekend. Take it easy.